Hi guys, um, I'm down at Machu Carrara um, Domain today and uh, what I'm looking at is backpacks. Um, so um, if you're going out into the backcountry obviously you're going to need some kind of bag to carry your gear in. And so um, uh, different sizes and different types of backpacks are what people use. Um, I've got the three packs that I use the most often here but I actually have a couple of other ones uh, beside these ones. Um, so at the moment I've actually got five packs that I use for different jobs. Um, these are the three that I use most often um, as I've said. Uh, yeah and so what I'll do is I'll just have a look at the packs, um, have a bit of a discussion about uh, what I use them for, some of the features on them, um, just a bit of an overview basically. Yeah, so um, I've got a couple of brands that I actually prefer when it comes to packs. And so um, my favourite brand is actually uh, Osprey. So I, at the moment I actually own three Osprey packs. Um, really excellent features. Um, they're lightweight. Um, they have um, uh, good features on them. Um, Osprey is one of those companies that really think about what trampers and walkers and hikers are doing and so they've designed in a lot of features. Uh, it's an American company. Um, they're a wee bit more expensive in New Zealand um, but they're still reasonably priced. Um, you know you're looking in the range of from $200 to $400 depending on the size and the features. Yeah. Uh, the other brand that I actually like is, is Vord which is a German company. Um, I, I currently own two Vord packs. Um, I also find that um, they're really uh, attentive to the needs of light trampers and so you get features on their packs that uh, other pack companies don't um, basically use. So um, these are the three main packs that I take when I go tramping. So what I've got here is I've got my uh, red Vord uh, 40 litre day pack, uh, my green uh, Osprey Atmos 50 AG pack, and uh, my heavy hauled pack is the uh, Black Vault 75. And um, so each of these packs has a particular use. So I'm um, going from left to right. The um, the Red Vord pack, um, that's my primary um, uh, day trip pack. Um, I use that for um, day trips. Um, I have also used it for some short overnighters, you know, like one to three nights. The um, Osprey uh, Atmos 50 AG in the middle is my um, main uh, overnight pack and so I use that on um, trips to Great Walk Huts, uh, also to um, places like Bookable Huts, uh, short overnighters where I'm going for a couple of nights um, and then uh, over on the right hand side I've got my heavy haul pack which is that Volt 75 and so that's my primary um, long trip pack so you know over four to five days um, or if I'm carrying camping gear. This is my uh, Vord Brenta 40 litre day pack. So um, so looking at my Vord um, uh, 40 litre pack so yeah the volume's 40 litres um, the um, it's a wee bit big for day day trips. Um, really, I'm looking for a new pack in the 30 to 35 litre range for that kind of thing. Um, but it's what I'm using. Um, it's a really good pack. Vord's a German company, and um, all of their gear is like really excellent. I've got two Vord packs. Um, this one, so it's got um, a big pouch on the front. It's got two pouches on the side for um, sticking water bottles or uh, trekking poles or uh, ice axes into. Um, there's uh, two pockets on the top, there's one on the outside and one underneath. Uh, and then if we look at the other side, so it's got all of the features of a much larger pack. Um, padded shoulder straps, it's got lifter um, straps at the top. Uh, it's got a um, chest strap and it's also got a uh, waist belt. Um, so obviously the um, shoulder straps and the waist belt are um, not as rugged as on one of those bigger packs. But, but it's fine provided you don't overload it. Um, yeah, and um, uh, this pack's quite nice to wear. Um, it's got quite a good ventilation system on your back here. So there's this uh, area of... Um, uh, 
of mesh um, so you get a bit of air behind your back and then it's got an external metal frame um, which basically keeps the pack in shape. This is the uh, Osprey Atmos 50 AG pack. So uh, going to my next pack, um, this is my uh, Osprey uh, Atmos pack. Um, you would have seen this in a lot of tramping videos because it's the main pack that I carry. Uh, it's a, a really excellent overnight pack. It's a great pack for carrying your stuff to um, great walk huts and bookable huts. Um, it's uh, got some great features on it. So again, it's got these pockets on the side for your water bottle. Uh, it's got a really big uh, mesh pocket on the front for putting um, wet tents and wet um, uh, wet weather gear on. Uh, on the side here it's got attachments for either walking poles or ice axes so um, this strap here and this. Um, the lid is removable and so you can actually take the lid off this and um, um, it's got like a separate flap inside so you can turn it into a smaller pack if you don't need all that volume. The main feature on this pack that's really excellent though is the harness system. So um, it's got some uh, really good shoulder straps with, with really good um, uh, padding on them. Super comfortable to wear. Um, it's got this uh, weight, this uh, waist belt that basically um, enfolds around your hips um, and kind of uh, supports the weight really well. And then you can see on the back here, it's got this um, ventilation system on your back. Uh, with these really big ventilation holes in this mesh and um, it's uh, really fantastic for keeping your back you know that's one of the problems that you have when you're tramping is you often get a, a wet sweaty back but you don't have that problem with this pack because you've got so much ventilation coming in through the back um, yeah um, this is the most comfortable pack I've ever worn uh, and uh, honestly I try to use it as much as possible um, but you know if I'm going on a mission where I'm carrying camping gear or I've got a whole lot of like warm gear or lots of food with me I've actually got a pack that's bigger than this and, and is specifically for those kind of trips. This is the Osprey uh, 75 litre Volt 75 pack so um, the last pack I've got here is um, another Vord pack. Uh, this is a um, Volt 75 and so this is my um, heavyweight uh, big load carrying pack. Um, 75 litres of space inside and so you know I'd primarily use this for really long trips like if I was going for more than five days um, or if I was carrying camping gear and you know you just basically can't get your, your kit into those other two um, packs without putting stuff on the outside and that's just something I don't do. Uh, another really excellent pack, um, weighted the thing un, uh, empty is about uh, 1.2 kg so it's super light for a 75 kg pack. Uh, again, it's got really excellent pockets on the side for uh, water, walking sticks or ice axes. <coughs> Pardon. Um, it's got some hooks on the front for connecting um, uh, pieces of climbing kit to if you need to use it for that. Or you can use it as tie down points. Uh, it's got a big mesh pocket on the front for putting wet tents again. The um, lid... Um, has a um, compartment on the top on the outside and again underneath the lid. Um, the uh, harness system on this pack is really excellent. So again it's got these uh, really uh, really good uh, shoulder straps, um, really comfortable and they fit, fit my shoulders really well. It's got one of those waist belts that hooks around your body. Um, the ventilation on this pack is not so great um, because it's got a much more solid um, back panel to it but but it's still pretty good like um, you know you'll get sweaty but it, it's not too bad yeah so uh, and again like I say this pack primarily I'd be using it for like really heavy haul uh, missions so like you know if I'm going uh, camping and I have to carry a tent and a mat and um, a heavier sleeping bag um, I've used this pack on tracks like the Travis Sabine where I was like walking for six days 
um, you know because obviously when you're walking for more than three days you've got a much heavier food load that you have to take with you yeah so uh, just a quick summary of the packs um, the red Vord pack um, is uh, 40 litres uh, weighs uh, under 1 kg uh, primarily used for day trips and short overnight trips the um, Atmos uh, green pack in the middle is my main pack um, that carries uh, 50 to 55 litres um, primarily used for trips on the Great Walks uh, trips to um, bookable huts and also um, short overnighters from one to three days and uh, then finally over here on the right hand side we've got the uh, Osprey Vault 75 um, heavy load pack uh, weighs about 1.3 kgs um, primarily used for expeditions um, longer overnight tramps of say four to six days um, and if I'm camping because uh, obviously bigger pack I can shove all my camping gear inside so I'm um, just talking about relative prices the uh, red Vord pack cost me about um, $200 I bought it on sale from um, gear shed the um, Atmos 50 um, in the middle um, that cost me about $250 um, I bought that from Bivouac Outdoor here in Christchurch the uh, Ford 75 was roughly around about the same price about $250 and um, again I bought that from Bivouac Outdoor here in Christchurch here's the harness systems on the three packs so you can see the um, the Osprey packs are kind of similar the shoulder straps and um, the um, equipment that attaches the shoulder straps to the main part of the pack are very similar um, the uh, Atmos in the middle has a, a much better ventilation system for your back um, and um, the way that the shoulder pads work, the ventilation system and the waist belt makes for really super comfortable um, carry. The uh, Vord pack, the red one on the left hand side, um, different kind of um, system the uh, shoulder straps and the waist strap are much thinner because it's not expected to carry as much weight um, does have a ventilation system on the back but you can see it's a different kind of ventilation system um, just different philosophies for different um, pack making companies you know they have different ways of going about things so yeah Uh, just a bit of information about caring for your pack so um, what I do when I come home from each tramping trip is I empty everything out of them and um, I hang them over a uh, seat or hang them out on the washing line just to dry any moisture off them um, probably about once a year I'll take the pack and I'll soak it in the bath for a couple of hours and then give it a good rinse out um, you need to keep your pack uh, dry uh, and you also need to keep it clean um, if your pack is really dirty or um, if it's damp you can get problems like mold mildew uh, and obviously um, any dirt or um, any other substances on the pack are going to um, degrade the materials that it's made out of yeah um, what I do with all three of them is I have um, some form of plastic bag on the inside to um, keep my gear dry because um, even though those are all quality packs uh, the bag itself is not going to keep your equipment clean you need to have like a pack liner so um, for the smaller one the Vord pack I use a heavy duty um, rubbish bag inside that and the other two have those big um, orange or yellow um, MSC pack lining bags um, or you can use one of those um, Cedar Summit pack liners as well yeah so um, those are the three packs that I have with me today um, I can definitely recommend both Vord and um, Osprey packs uh, both companies make excellent product 
So that's just a bit of information about the packs that I use when I'm out tramping. Um, there are other ones that I use. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, put a couple of clips up of um, all three of these packs in action um, or um, photographs. Um, so the one that you see, you're going to see in most of the videos, um, as I've said, is the green uh, Osprey pack here. Uh, also the red one in all of my day trips. Um, the Vault Pack you won't see very often um, because I haven't been doing many of those multi-day um, tramps where I'm not staying in a Great Walk hut. But now that I've finished walking the Great Walks um, you'll probably see it more often because I'm going to be doing some tracks like the Rees Dart, uh, the Greenstone Capels track um, and also like um, Stewart Island's another place I'd like to get down to so you'll see him out carrying some gear around So uh, anyway, I hope that's uh, useful to you and um, I'll see you in the next video.